Hey, on this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your DSM-7 to DSM-6. If there is a reason to do that, so I'll show you how to quickly do that. So the steps we will need to go through is um, enabling SSH access on your Synology, then uh, connect uh, something called PT, then edit a version control file, and, um, and then we're going to be um, ready to install DSM-6. So I'll put everything into slides. So it's quicker and it's easier for you to understand. So how do you enable SSH? You go to control panel, uh, uh, terminal settings, and go and uh, tick enable telnet service, enable SSH service port 22 by default, you can leave that. Once you have um, uh, finished with downgrading, I would still recommend to switch, it, uh, switch these things off just for sake of security. Um, then you can download Putty uh, file. What you will need to do is um, grab an IP of your SnowG NAS. Uh, if, you, if you use SnowG Finder, you, you can see IP there, or if you're just in the browser enabling this SSH, that's an IP you will need to put in there. Um, port 22, choose SSH uh, option to connect. Um, then you will need to use your admin username. If you, whatever admin username you use, that, that's what you type in the password, uh, hit enter, and then you'll need to use a command like uh, sudo vim atc defaults version, hit enter, then you're gonna be entering the version uh, control file, which you will need to edit. And then there's a few things you need to um, learn how to do the editing of the file in, in this PD. So uh, application is that you will be, once you open this file, you will be switching bef uh, between command mode and editing mode by um, hitting a, a key I. So if you hit I, that means you'll be switching into editing mode and then you can actually change um, the version to six and the major version to six to three and go down to product version 6.0, build number, put these things, just copy whatever is on the screen into your uh, version file. Then when you have finished editing, um, hit escape uh, button on your keyboard. It means it's going to go back to command mode, command version of um, editing this file, and then type uh, WQ, that means write and quit, and exclamation mark, uh, which means it's going to force to override this read-only file. Um, once that is done, reboot your Synology, and you'll be... I, I, it, we will be thrown into this uh, initialization mode when you can set up your NAS because NAS will be thinking that you're going through the new setup process. So you you will be offered to keep your system files, so all your configuration uh, and your existing files, whatever you got on your shared folders. So it's up to you which option you choose. Then uh, once you provide chose that PAT file, which is installation file for DSM. Uh, you can start installing and in the middle of that is going to throw you an error saying that uh, you're not supposed to install version 6. We are expecting version DSM-7 to be installed. Uh, when, when that is happening, just go to back to PuTTY again because at this time the port 23 and telnet service will be enabled. So you're going to be typing in again the IP address. Hopefully it hasn't changed. Make sure it probably didn't change. But this time choose instead of SSH, go for telnet port 23 and then connect and this time you'll be logging in uh, not with your username which you used before now you're going to be typing in root as a username and the password is going to be something i'm going to put on the screen you will see it's like one one zero i think and zero one zero one uh, i'll put that on the screen and uh, once you have put the password in you'll be uh, logged in as a root into uh, shell, into SSH, then you will need to edit again this version file which you uh, edited before. So this time you can use command vi ATC defaults versions. So you'll be thrown into this file. Again, the same logic applies about editing file. If you want to edit it, uh, hit I uh, key on your keyboard. So you'll be able to change again the version seven to six and um, everything as follows on, on, as you see on the screen. Once you are done with uh, editing, hit escape button. It's going to go back to command mode again. And then uh, do write, uh, do keys uh, W, uh, uh, Q, which is going to mean write and quit. And then hit enter. So you're going to go back to 
you know, to, 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 to uh, like a baseline, go, 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 going back. But anyway, what you, you can from that point, you go back to Synology uh, browser, uh, browser of Synology setup and um, repeat the DSM6 uh, installation process. So again, provide the, the installation file is living, probably is in your downloads folder and um, click install. So it's going to go through the uh, installation and after a few minutes is going to be uh, saying, yes, we have done uh, everything. Now we're going to restart your Synology NAS and um, you can, from that point on, just configure your NAS in your DSM-6 now. You know, put your username, password, and uh, you probably know what to do next. I hope this was helpful. If you got uh, any questions, you can fire email to info NAS compares or go NAS compares on the right and uh, right hand side. Fill the form, put the question in there. If the question will be interesting, we can help others as well. We can shoot a video and upload to YouTube. So I hope this was helpful. Have a great day yourself.